Deteriorating buildings and overcrowded classrooms. Some schools are in such bad shape, leaders in Marion County say it would be cheaper just to tear them down and start over from scratch. Marion County Public Schools has long been looking for money to make these major school repairs and now has put the funding decision in the hands of the people who will pay for it, taxpayers. So to help voters understand what they're being asked for, school officials are offering tours of what they call the problem schools. And the first one is actually tomorrow. New Six's Treasurer Roberts gives us a look at what people can expect. Marion County schools are falling apart. Our portables that don't have covered walkways. We have air conditioned systems that go out. We have leaks. Because the buildings are outdated. District Superintendent Dr. Diane Gullett says they want to make major repairs, but they just can't afford it. She's calling this a crisis. When you have about half of our facilities are over 50 years old, mm -hmm. the cost of maintenance continues to climb. New Six investigated and discovered 80% of Marion County Schools maintenance requirements requests don't get fixed because it will cost $840 million. That's why the district is asking for your help. It's been 15 years since there's been a sales tax for our facility needs and it's been 13 years since we've had impact fees mm -hmm. and since they were suspended. That could change this year. After a unanimous vote by Marion County commissioners, a half cent sales tax to improve Marion County schools will be on the ballot in November, and Gullet hopes voters say yes. The district wants to show you why they need this funding. February 26th and 29th, Gullet is inviting parents and community leaders on a tour of these schools. The tax capital plan calls for upgrading and modernizing schools and facilities, acquiring land and building new schools, demolishing, reconstructing, and improving current facilities. If approved, the sales tax would be in place for 10 years. District leaders say only five new schools have been built in Marion County since 2007. We need a strong facility for our kids. Glenn Dunn, a former educator, says the money could go a long way for both students and teachers. If we can uh, do anything to show and improve morale of teachers and administrators, I think that that would be very positive. Treasure Roberts, Getting Results, New 6.